Okay, let me talk about that bad man in Green Bay, Wisconsin, named Aaron Rodgers, okay? Aaron Rodgers, 1,000% should be the 2020 NFL MVP. He should get that award over Patrick Mahomes, Derrick Henry, Tom Brady, Russell Wilson, whoever you want to name, Aaron Rodgers had a better season than those guys in 2020, and Aaron Rodgers was unbelievable, and he should be the 2020 regular season MVP. When we look at what Aaron Rodgers was able to accomplish, he completed 70.7% of his throws. He threw for 4,300 yards, an NFL leading 48 touchdown passes, only threw five interceptions, and had a 121.5 pass rating, which is the second best pass rating of all time in a single season. And by the way, Aaron Rodgers holds the title for first, which he in which he you know got that title back in 2011. Okay, but the bottom line is, Aaron Rodgers he had an unbelievable year. He put up great numbers. He showed up Sunday after Sunday and produced for the Green Bay Packers. His team is 13 and three. They're the number one seed in the NFC. And they're one of the handful of teams that has a chance to win the Super Bowl because of one Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers has elevated his supporting cast to heights in which, in, in which I, I did not think they could reach. Obviously, you have Devontae Adams, who's great. But if you take Devontae Adams away from that offense, what are you left with? Alan Lazard? Marquez Valdez-Scantling? Equinemius St. Brown? Robert Tanyan? Folks, are you kidding me? Aaron Rodgers has turned these C minus to C plus level players into A minus and B plus level players. He's elevated Marquez Valdez Scanlon. He's elevated Equinemia St. Brown. He's made Robert Tanyan a household name. No one knew who the heck Robert Tanyan was outside of Packers fans before this season started, okay? And I want to ask you all this question. If the Green Bay Packers did not have Devontae Adams on the roster, where would you rank the Green Bay Packers wide receiver and tight end core? That group, led by Scantley and Lazard, that's a bottom five level wide receiver core. I'm sorry, I hate to admit that, but Aaron Rodgers, he's making sugar cream cookies out of two and three star ingredients, people, okay? And we look at Patrick Mahomes. He's got Tyree Kill. He's got Travis Kelsey. He's got Sammy Watkins. He's got Miko Hartman. He's got Andy Reid. We look at Tom Brady. He's got Antonio Brown. He's got Mike Evans. He's got Chris Godwin. He's got Sky Miller. He's got Cameron Braid. He's got Rob Gronkowski. Russell Wilson got, Russell Wilson's got DK Metcalf. He's got Tyler Lockett, okay? And if you take away Aaron Rodgers from the Green Bay Packers and you replace him with an average quarterback, the Green Bay Packers are not a playoff team, okay? You know, because the Green Bay Packers, they asked Aaron Rodgers to do a lot, and they have they have asked Aaron Rodgers to elevate below average perimeter weapons on the outside of wide receiver and make it work outside Devontae Adams, who's excellent. And by the way, the storyline is so funny to me is the Green Bay Packers, they drafted a quarterback in the first round to replace Aaron Rodgers. They said we think Aaron Rodgers is washed. He's no good anymore. He's injury prone. We need to start moving on. And Aaron Rodgers just goes out there and says, "Yeah, Green Bay Packers organization, screw you. Let me leave, let me lead the league in touchdown passes. Let me have the best pass rating in the entire NFL. And let me just shut all y'all up, okay?" And by the way, folks that are saying Patrick Mahomes deserves the NFL MVP award over Aaron Rodgers, you're flat out wrong because Patrick Mahomes does not beat Aaron Rodgers in completion percentage, pass rating, touchdowns, or touchdown to interception ratio this season, okay? Aaron Rodgers leads Patrick Mahomes in all those categories. And sure, Patrick Mahomes does have more passing yards than Aaron Rodgers, but Patrick Mahomes has, th has thrown 588 passes on the season. Aaron Rodgers has 562 passes on the season. So. Even though Patrick Mahomes has played in one less game than Aaron Rodgers, he still has thrown more passes than Aaron Rodgers, okay? So that stat's kind of skewed, okay? So ultimately, Aaron Rodgers 
He's very, very valuable to the Green Bay Packers. If you take Aaron Rodgers away from the Green Bay Packers, they're four. They're a four or five win football team. If you take Patrick Mahomes away from the Kansas City Chiefs and replace him with an average quarterback, the Kansas City Chiefs are still fighting for a playoff spot, okay? Because we saw Matt Moore last year win games with the Chiefs. We saw Alex Smith win games with the Chiefs in the past, okay? Andy Reid's excellent. That's the best team in all football. I'm not trying to hear it. Aaron Rodgers, 100%, should be the 2020 NFL MVP. And to me, it's not even close. Not even close, people. I'm sorry, Derrick Henry, you had a very good year. You had 2,000 rushing yards, but Ryan Tannehill also had a great year. So it's not one of those situations where Adrian Peterson was just carrying Christian Ponder to the playoffs. The Tennessee Titans still have other good players besides Derrick Henry. So, yeah, ultimately, Josh Allen had a good year, but not better than Aaron Rodgers. Same can be said for Patrick Mahomes. Aaron Rodgers, 100%, is the 2020 NFL MVP, and that should not be up for debate. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Please also note that the Juice Alert Sports Podcast is not just a YouTube channel. It is available on all podcasting platforms, including Spotify, Google Podcasts, iTunes, and Apple Podcasts. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this content with all your friends. This podcast is my favorite thing in the entire world right now. It is my passion. And I want more people to listen to this podcast. I really want this podcast to grow. Also, a fun fact about me is that I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. I am looking to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. And I potentially would like to start my own network if this podcast really truly grows. Or if I fall short of that goal, I would love to work for a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. I am open to all networks. So if you believe in my dreams and you see or hear my passion through the screen, be sure to tell all your friends about the Juice Alert Sports Podcast. Stay motivated, you guys. Have a God-blessed day, and I'm out.